Hey y'all, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I got another 395. This was on the bench last week. Had the bottom end done and uh, did the machine work to the cylinder, but hadn't done the port work or the timing yet. So here's where we ended up. Um, I took 45 thousandths off the base, set the squish to 23 thousandths. Um, after the machining, intake was at 79, transfers were at 125, exhaust was at 103. Um, port work, I brought it back to 81 intake, 122 transfer, and left the exhaust nice and low at 102. This is going to be wearing a 36 inch bar. Um, so I want to keep that there. This should have 200 pounds of compression, give or take. Um, let's have a look at handiwork. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the exhaust or the intake here. Got that squared off. Lowered it just a whisper and raised the outside edges. That intake port is more oval from the factory. Um, looks like a transfer. I open up. A little bit right there on the exhaust side uh, let's see if we can't get a little bit better light nope yeah transfers are always hard let's see if I can't now they're nice and tidy and exhaust port was uh, able to raise that a decent amount and widen it a little bit. And that's what it looks like from the inside. Looks flat in from this side, but there's still a decent amount of radius on the on the roof of the exhaust. Uh, one of the things, when you drop the cylinder that much on these, you'll have to slot that decomp hole. I've relieved maybe like a sixteenth of an inch from right there. Uh, the decomp will not open. Uh, muffler's been matched to the exhaust as well as the heat shield. And a stamp steel uh, deflector. That's got uh, rib nuts holding it on. Look those up. Those are pretty handy. Uh, that should breathe just fine. She's going to be loud. Um, here's this Husky 36-inch bar. Yeah, it went off. Yeah, let's turn this scale back on. These are not as light as the Sumuras. This is a Sugahara bar. I mean, don't get me wrong, the steel's uh, fantastic. So for that 36 inch bar, looking at four pounds, 13 ounces, and your traditional Oregon bar is five pounds, four ounces in a little bit. So, I mean, it's a half a pound lighter. Typically you notice a little bit more weight reduction in these in the lightweight bars um i've heard that just for the time being that uh husky is using samara or excuse me sugahara to do their bars and quite possibly are going to be making their own bars in-house nah you know who knows anyway it's a slick looking bar um yeah, so all I've got left to do now on this is just final assembly, drop cylinder on, get all sealed up. And uh, the bottom end on this saw has been done already. Uh, these are aging saws in the fleet. Uh, I work in a tree company two days a week. Um, some of these saws are pushing six, seven years old and really need a freshen up. 
Um, so they've got an Arborist dealership, so it makes buying the, a new crankcase cost effective uh, as opposed to doing repairs and painting and or powder coating or whatever. Um, so anyway, we keep this old girl in the fleet and she'll actually look halfway decent. Um, yeah, they're, they're well maintained over the years, but at some point in time in between walled out screws and helicoils that have let go and just general wear and tear, um, you know, for an eleven, twelve hundred dollar saw, it's it's all right to, you know, spend several hundred dollars getting these freshened up and back to tip top shape so they can be out in the field making money. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Again, hope everybody has a th happy Thanksgiving. If I can get out and do some cutting today, I'll post a video of this thing getting after it.